Okay, hello. Jesse Colton here, going to talk about the Delirium League in Path of Exile. Um, to start, I am just saying I'm closing uh, this league out for myself. Um, I started, obviously, right when the league started on Friday, March 13th, and, uh, you know, played all the consecutive weeks up until today. Um, I decided this was a good stopping point for me because I achieved um, the 24 challenge mark, which unlocked some MTX. So I, I accomplished 24 of the 40 challenges that they set out to unlock some stuff. I'm not going to pursue the 36 challenges because I felt like it was a little too much of a grind and not uh, strictly what I want to do right now. So I'm going to do this in a format that um, starts out with uh, some pros and cons about the choices I made this league um, and then move on to maybe something specifically looking forward to the next Path of Exile League and then finally I will close with um, kind of some general thoughts about the past few weeks. So, uh, Path of Exile was released um, shortly after a lot of news came out regarding the coronavirus. So the timing was such that I could commit a lot of stay-at-home hours to it. And I I may may have done it regardless of the virus, but it seemed the virus really um, really made it even more clear that this is what I wanted to uh, be doing in in the evenings. Um, so the pros and cons of the build and this league for me. Um, this is an Inquisitor that uses the skill Sweep. Um, it is a melee skill, an ability. That's what it looks like. I have pretty good attack speed. Um, and so it, it, you know, attacks and kills enemies in a circle. Um, so the pros that I've listed here, um, one, I committed to a single build. Uh, this is, this was the character that I pursued the end game with. This is the character I started with. This was the character that I focused all my effort on kind of perfecting and improving. Um, so that was a pro. That was a good thing. Um, I didn't let myself get baited into a new build, a new item, um, something that maybe comes from the League, some brand new unique that came from the League. I'm actually using this, ironically. But regardless, I was pretty pleased with the, uh, the focus on just one character and not getting distracted. And, wanting to build multiple characters and try out a bunch of different things. Um, and then the other uh, co uh, pro that I have listed here is uh, more focus on uh, the end game and maps and actual just content as opposed to focus on looking at the skill tree and theory crafting and looking at builds and items and just spend basically spending time not actually moving the needle and producing currency and grinding you know um, which is I mean you know ironically I'm doing this for fun but at the same time I want to I want to get better at it so that was something that was a pro um, and there were also some improvements uh, in the trading department. Uh, felt like my trading habits were a little bit better than last league. 
So now let's go to the cons, the bad, um, the build. Sweep Inquisitor is not great as a league start. It uh, it was a little slow to get up and going, um, and it was not very tanky. This was actually kind of a, a, a bigger con was that I chose to be a little bit innovative and go down the left side of this tree here. Um, now most people using the Void Forge, which is the kind of the key item in this build, most people choose to navigate all the way to this right side of the tree and pick up the nodes over here, sword nodes, etc. Uh, but I thought I would be a little innovative and try to take advantage of the new cluster jewel mechanic. And um, so I stayed on the left side of the tree. Now, I am glad that I didn't totally change my entire tree and go back over to the right side. But I think if I did this exact same build and character again, I think I would probably uh, change the tree up just a little bit. And just, just to see how it feels, see how much better it feels. Because um, this was workable, but maybe it could be slightly improved. Maybe I don't need some of these. Maybe I don't need all of this. Maybe I just focus on getting these nodes right here are very valuable. So, um, that's that was a con. Uh, another con or negative is is the overall focus on just gameplay and grinding and less just effing around. Um, an example of effing around is honestly just kind of standing here in in your hideout and looking at um, the trade site and trying to see what items are valued at now and see if you can afford something and um, or uh, something I did a lot more last league thankfully I've improved a bit but still need to work on is looking at PoE Ninja which is a website that aggregates all of the builds at the top of the ladder um, and so I would look at what other people were doing basically I spend a ton of my time instead of just playing the game and improving my own guy looking at other people's guys um, which is, you know, is detrimental to my own progress. Um, uh, another con is I, I did a little too much testing. Um, I tested out a notable called Blood Scent, which did not work. Um, this one right here. Attacks with axes or swords grant one rage on hit no more than once every second and without going way into the weeds and the details of that I spend a little bit too much time trying to force that into my build and seeing if it would work um, it was really kind of a needless waste of I don't know how long I spent trying to do that but it was, it was a waste of time um, I did end up submitting a bug to the bug forums on that because it actually is bugged. It's not working correctly. Um, yeah, and I think I think the con, the kind of the biggest con was definitely the the overall lack of tankiness uh, caused me to churn a lot of time at the end of levels, just playing safe, not blitzing through maps, kind of playing a little too slow for the sake of saving my experience. Um, but there was some give and take there, so I think it's fine. Um, and then the biggest, um, the biggest takeaway from this league, kind of a mental note that I'm making for myself, um, is that I did not spend enough of my money. Now, <laughs> This sounds a little bit uh, unusual and silly and goofy. And if you have money, which is in this game, currency is um, 
the item, I mean these little pieces of items that you pick up on the ground, chaos orbs and exalted orbs, etc., is literally uh, what you pay in the economy on the trade market to buy items to improve your character. I was so stingy. I mean, all of these items collectively, even with the six link, I think are like five exalts. Maybe maybe a little more than that, but not by much. Maybe like seven exalts um, or eight exalts. But the point is, I have so much money, I could improve every single individual piece of my gear, right? And I haven't because I'm just kind of saving it. Now, initially, I was going to save it for a bottled faith, which is a flask that's very expensive. Right now, it costs... Let's actually check how much it costs, just to demonstrate. But it was such a trap, because the prices went up, and I could never really afford it. I was never really in range of affording it. Um, I'll pull this down to the monitor so you can see what I'm looking at here. So we pull this down. So this is the trade site. This is the... Um, trading tool that I use, better trading is actually very helpful, but 19 exalts um, that's expensive that's that's not an inexpensive item for especially for somebody who plays by themselves like me if you play in a group it's kind of a known fact that you make more money but um, I choose to play in isolation um, farm for myself and uh Regardless, saving up for it ended up being a huge waste because now I'm done with the league and I have 13 exalts I could have spent to make myself better. And ultimately, the incremental improvements to my items would have made me faster uh, and more efficient and die less uh, in all of the maps and everything else that I did and therefore would have got more exalts. I mean, you know, it's it's kind of like you... The, incre the incremental improvements would have helped me during the process of building up enough currency to save for big items. Um, with this, this item, the studded belt, this was kind of another example of, at the time that I bought it, I spent every single dime I had on it, and I'd been saving for a while. And I kind of realized after I bought it that maybe the improvement that I got from it relative to how much it costs, I probably should have upgraded some of my other pieces of gear for a little bit less, like more incrementally, and not worried so much about saving everything. And it's weird that I'm thinking about this now. Um, while I have more exalts than I had at any point in the league, but I could have, the same concept about saving for the bottled faith that I've never bought could be applied to the very beginning of the league as well. Um, okay, so we've gone through the pros, um, and I do want to just want to say, regardless of everything I'm saying, I, this this particular character, this build, these items, etc., it all worked out. It's all fine. I mean, this is all for fun. This is for my own uh, sanity, anyways. So all is well that ends well. But um, okay, so I have the takeaways to next league. Um, it's kind of the next thing I want to talk about. Before I do that, the um, the takeaways from the last league, which I did not make a video about, uh, I had three takeaways. One was no new items, um, and I gave myself an A-plus on that because I literally didn't use a single new item until the very, very, very end, which was these items, which, you know, whatever. A little experimentation is not bad. Um, the second thing I was to take away from last league was keep improving your leading man. Don't make new characters. Just try to improve one guy, make him really, really good. So that's another A plus. I literally this is the only character I made this league. Last league I made like four or five or something. This league was just this guy. Um, so that's an A plus. And then the final takeaway was don't try to invent new builds. The whole purpose of waiting the build up before the league starts, you have a little bit of time to maybe say, alright, what am I going to try? What am I going to test out? You don't want to 
try and test out things while you're in the middle of it, you know? It's not... You have other times to try to pivot. So I gave myself a B on that. Um, the takeaways from this league looking forward to next league. So... Um, this this takeaway is kind of a the first takeaway. I have three. The first one is related to a little bit of what I talked about already, but basically the way to succeed in this game and actually acquire a lot of currency and then buy better items and acquire more currency, kind of build up to that end game and be good is by blitzing through maps. That's just that it that's it. You literally just need to blitz through maps at a rate that is fast enough to where you know you don't die you don't get stopped you don't take a bunch of breaks you don't pick up enough stuff to have to go back and then go back into the map it basically just the faster and shorter condensed map time is more important than the tier of map you're doing and to that end, the mob density is more important than the tier of map you're doing. I kept forcing myself to slog through red maps that weren't even really juiced because I couldn't completely build up the delirium encounter without dying. So I usually didn't push it. Um, I played safe, killed one little pack of groups at a time when in reality, if I if I really just wanted to accelerate, you kind of have to do the tier, the lower tier maps, the yellow maps, but just really juice them and make them as many mobs to kill as possible, as dense as possible, and give yourself the ability to ra to race through the map as fast as possible. Um. So that's that's the first takeaway for next league. The second takeaway looking forward to next league is um, survivability. Find a way to not die. Find a way to not die and be efficient about it. Um, you should not be dying every map. You should not be dying every two maps. You shouldn't be dying every five maps. You literally should almost never be dying. Um, skill points are super valuable and once you get into the 90s it's a huge pain to die and set yourself back 10 percent because you're only gaining like one two maybe three percent of your experience per map so if you die you're just you're hurt you're hurting yourself and this includes in boss fights and things like that and some of that is mechanical improvements i'm trying to get better at understanding you know whatever the game understanding when attacks come, how to dodge them. But I would say that that is a, that's a give and take that I'm learning about trying to get the balance of. Um, and there are some, there's something to be said for the, you know, a good defense is a good offense, or the best defense is a good offense, which is kind of the reverse of the traditional saying. In this game, if you kill things extremely quickly, it's not as critical that you um, that you have a stupid, stupid amount of survivability. But I think for next league, I think I will err on the side of um, defenses um, because it's so easy to slip and get one shot. The third point and final takeaway for next league is don't save all your money just don't it's not worth it if I look and see oh dang bottle faith is 19 exalts I need to keep grinding and not buy a single other piece of gear until I get to 19 exalts that is such terrible logic you need to take things one step at a time take one bite of the elephant at a time and there were times when I was looking at the trade site and deciding between a, you know, 10 chaos pair of gloves 
and a 40 chaos pair of gloves. And the, and it's just for reference, that's like money, $10 versus $40, whatever. And I always ended up buying the $10 pair of gloves, no matter how much worse they were, no matter how soon I would need to replace them. It's the equivalent of buying anything else. You buy a $10 toaster or a $40 toaster. One has a two-star rating. One has a five-star rating. You're going to need to replace the $10 toaster. You're going to need to get rid of it. It's going to be a piece of cra trash. And the whole time you spent looking for deals, you could have just bought the $40 toaster, bit the bullet, and it would last you forever. Um, so I think that that's just a trading habit that I'm going to improve on for next league. Okay. Um, and then some broader thoughts to close. Um, I am happy with how this league went. Um, I think it went well overall. Obviously, it started right alongside when the coronavirus escalated and a lot of businesses, you know, started closing and, you know, the first couple of weeks of league were, it was an appropriate time to stay at home, so um, I spent a lot of hours playing overall, um, which is why I want to, I mean, you know, if I do this again, which I suspect that I will, um, I don't know for a fact that I will exactly as I did during this virus outbreak, but um, I think that I just want to be more efficient with the time that I do spend on this game. And um, and on kind of a personal note, I did need a break from watching the minute-by-minute minute charts. I found that that was not helpful to my psychology. I just kind of was like, you know, letting myself get a little too caught up and carried away and stressed out by the minutia of trading. And doing this, um, some people read a book, some people have other activities, but this is kind of a, a therapeutic way of reducing anxiety so um, and it and it kind of it's part of the reason that it feels therapeutic is that you feel like you're being um, productive and that you're kind of you're you're doing something in that you're that you're progressing you're building something you're constructing something regardless if it doesn't add any value and this technically does not add any value to anyone just to me um, but uh, but the value I got from it was beneficial is you know short lived whatever short term um, few weeks less than that two and a half weeks um, but it was you know it's worth it so um I guess that's it. I'm going to close the video out. Um, I think I'm going to just kind of publish it as is and not edit. Uh, and if you enjoy, let me know.